Cadence, swoosh, soft check. 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 So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to condense it down to one log. We're going to swoosh it. Then we're going to solve it. Then we're going to check it out. Make sure which answer is correct or all the answers are just one answer or whatever. So let's go to start with this. So the first step said to condense it down to one log. So looking at it, how many logs do we have? We only have one log. So that's already condensed, right? Right. So that part is done. We've already done that part. It's already been condensed down, R to one log. All right, so the second step said we're going to swoosh it. Now, before we swoosh it, we said it's best to go ahead and move everything so that we have it the way we've been talking about it. So I'm going to move that two to the left side here so we can swoosh it like we've talked about it the whole time. And again, here the log and x plus 3 are on the same line. Oops, sorry. x plus 3 is on the same line as log. The 4 is the base number. So we're going to swoosh that. So take it and we're going to swoosh it around. Take it around town. Bring it around town. All right, so we're going to swoosh it. So we swooshed it. So that means we're going to need to write it down as 4 squared equals x plus 3. That's hard. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's so hard. Oh, we swooshed it. So then after we swoosh it, we said we need to solve it out. So what is 4 squared? Without a calculator, what's 4 squared? 16 S equals x plus 3. All right, and then the last thing, uh, and the thing here still says for step 3 is to solve it. So how do you solve for x? Subtract 3 from both sides. Yes. That's what you said. I know. I can hear it in your head. I can read your minds. You're saying this is stupid, but it's kind of easy. This is boring, but it's kind of easy. I can do it. I think I can do it. Okay. So now the last thing, we get x equals 13. Now we need to check x equals 13 in the original problem to see if it actually does work out. Let's check out. So we're going to substitute... x equals 13 in the original problem. To see if it actually checks out. But it's important that you do the original problem, not, not the problem that you've worked out or swooshed. You had to go back to the original problem. So our original problem here was log x plus 3 base 4. So I'm going to write this problem down. So log x plus 3 base 4 equals, I believe it was, okay, 2. All right, so we're going to substitute 13 in for x and see if that worked out. Does it work out? Does it give us actually 2 when we put all this in C calculate and all that great stuff? And if it does, we're good. If it doesn't, that means we did something wrong or there's, the answer is no solution. And sometimes the answer is no solution. So here we put 13 in for x. We do 13 plus 3 is 16, base 4. And we have to check it and see. You can either put it in the calculator, you can swoosh it and see if it works out correctly. So I'm going to swoosh it really quickly. And again, remember, it changed that around so that the 2 is on the left side. If you swoosh it at this point, it should equal each other. So we get 4 squared equals 16. And 4 squared is 16. And that equals 16. So what is your answer for the problem? Is it 16? No, that's not the answer to the problem. That just shows that it checks out. But what is x equal? Dun, 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 13. So x equals 13 is our answer for the problem. So make sure you box that part around. Dun, dun, dun. So we're condensed, swoosh, soft, check.
Condense, swoosh, solve, check. Condense, swoosh, solve, check. Condense, swoosh, solve, check. All right, so here's the practice coming at you. 